from inside Tropicana Field here in Tampa Bay. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Cincinnati Reds taking on the Tampa Bay Rays. And now, your 2000. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Tampa Bay Rays. So almost ready to get underway and towing the slab, Jeffrey Springs. Well, no doubt about it. He's going to have to put together some consistently good performances in order to bring that ERA down. Now, he's got good stuff. He's just got to be able to have confidence, trust it, and really go after hitters, not nibble. Trust that his stuff can have late life and miss barrels of bats. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. And the lefty with the 0-1. No, inside. That one down the line. And he handles it. it himself for the out. Here's David Bell's lineup for the Cincinnati the Reds. Number 30. And one of the most exciting young stars in the sport, Ellie De La Cruz. Big time speed here, Boog. A guy with just terrific wheels and an absolute nightmare for opposing pitchers when he's on base. I mean, players like this who have elite speed, it's like disruptive technology on the base paths. Man, can't wait to watch him run. On the ground, right side. Over to Diaz. Two up, two down. Good arm side run and sink on that pitch right there. Got that inside on him and got him to bounce into that out. Hitter. Two Spencer outs, base is empty. Steer. Now it's the DH, Spencer Steer. And it's fouled away. Two outs. Swing and a miss. Quickly in an 0-2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in play somewhere, then you got a chance. Just misses the mark outside the zone. It's a good take. Got him swinging. Reds down in order. Now it's the Rays turn. No score. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back now in Tampa Bay. And our pitcher in this game, Brandon Williamson. And Chris, pitching on the road has not been particularly kind to him. Yeah, and you don't want to be too quick to say that he can't pitch on the road. Sometimes, you know, it's just a matter of luck. It's not having a feel. Difference between the bullpen mound to the mound out there on the playing field. Don't know what it is, but I know this. He's got good enough stuff to overcome and get it done on the road as well as at home. So we'll see what he's able to do in this one. Base knock center field. So a man on base to start the inning. Everything came together for him. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. Stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. And now here is Randy Arozarena. He's there. He's got it. One away. Yandy Diaz now at the plate. The Obviously a guy Yandy. who makes good contact, hits yeah. for average. But one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. Ball. First pitch doesn't find the zone. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris. And it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitchers. That one ripped. Bangs off the wall. Coming home. He will score, and they take the lead. one nothing. Comes through with the RBI. A lot of hitters tell themselves, line drive over the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Just keep that approach simple. And right there, it was perfectly executed. On time with everything, and pulled it into the gap nicely. 
One out, runner at second. Now the third baseman, Taylor Walls. And Boog, I'd say he's due. Pitch Whoa. misses, and that is ball, ball one. No one out, and a runner at second. In the air, left field, Friedel settles under this one. Makes the grab, and there's two gone. Now up for Tampa Bay, Ahmed Rosario. He's been a great free agent side. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Ball one there. Swings through that one for strike two. One ball, two strikes. The one two. Rosario tries to hold up, appeal to first. No swing, he held up. Patrick Johnson with the call there. Man on second, two down. That misses. And now it's three and two. Brandon Lau next to bat for Tampa. And it's second. Liner, base hit. Diaz, rounds third, headed for the plate. He scores, it's 2-0. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Brandon Lau, next to hit for the Rays. Two hits for him in yesterday's game. That one in there across the letters. Late with the swing there. Threw that fastball oh, right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. That's a ball. Pitch misses there. Now one and two. Rosario leads off first with two down to the inning. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Third out. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. We head to the second here at Tropicana Field. It's the Rays two, and the Reds nothing. All set for the start of the inning. Now it's the second baseman, Matt McClain. Spring back to work. And a good eye there. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. One down. Now batting Jamer Candelario. The third base. A lot of clutch hitting from him recently. Over the last 10 games, he's knocked in 10 runs. In one the dirt, and that's ball one. Pretty smart not to serve something up for him right there. He's really good at hitting the first pitch. Yeah. Next offering is in for a strike. Gary Simmons, our plate umpire today, sort of has a reputation as a pitcher's umpire. Yeah, a little bit of a wider zone than most, I'd say. And a wide zone can be tough to deal with as a hitter because you have to start expanding what you're looking for, covering both sides. And with the stuff pitchers have today, you're just not going to have a lot of success. Throws the first in time. That Fastball groove right down the middle. The Usually a lot of damage Tyler. done with that pitch. A hard grounder, Stevenson. but he wanted to get that ball in the air. Maybe drive it into the gap. In now for the Reds, Tyler Stevenson. Bounced out to short. Caballero. Throws the first. And that is that. Nobody left for Cincinnati. They trail things here. 2-0. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And stepping in is the speedy Jose Caballero. The pitch. And there's a strike. Nice. 
The ball. shortstop That's takes insane. the ball. The lefty fires. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And he's got a leadoff double. He needed that one. It's been a tough stretch right to the plate lately. Just Look, a solid it. swing right there. Oh, Caught it man. out front and ripped it into the outfield yeah, for the base man. hit. Those always feel great. So, man aboard. Jose Siri getting ready to hit. Fourth right now in the American League home run leaderboard. Ball one. Close, but call the ball. Count ball one. one. That one fouled hard the other way. Runner in scoring position, nobody out. Bottom half of inning number two. And a foul ball. You know, this is a good time to step out of the box, take a deep breath, reset. A couple of change-ups. Probably won't see another one here. And that one is lifted in the air. And makes the grab. One away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front Back shoulder down. coming open Look instead of staying closed. Yeah. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Here's the catcher, Ben Workvet. Right through there for a strike. Close one doesn't get the call. And now it's even one and one. Man at second. And a foul ball. pitch not even close there two and two caballero over at second one down at the belt and fires that one missing inside. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. Could be extra bases. Around third. He'll score, and they're up by three. He's in at second with a one-out double. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game. But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. So the Rays batting order turns over. Johnny DeLuca next to hit for the Rays. Singled and scored his first time. Right through there for a strike. 0 oh 1. That oh one misses, and it's 1 and 1. One out and a runner at second here in game one of this three-game set. Next hey. pitch in for a strike, and it's one and two. Hey. He goes down looking. No, you got to be ready to swing the bat with a runner no, in scoring position and no two strikes. Here. Just put the ball right in here. place somewhere, and oh, you've got a chance. Right Very frustrating for him, I'm sure. See if the next guy can pick him up. And that one hammered. That's back there. And gone. A gigantic blast. And they add to the lead. It's five zip. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back.
Love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at-bat. You watch him from the on-deck circle, so when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. Total conviction on that swing. Diaz batting for the second time, and that's strike one. That's a strike, and it's nothing in two. Oh, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at-bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. The 0-2. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. And the lead is now 5-0. Back after this on the show. And welcome back we to the ballpark. Top half of the, the third inning. Season. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati. Christian, Christian and Carnacion Strand. Slice to right. And that's just foul. And Carnacion Strand hitting seventh in today's lineup. And he was drafted in the fourth round in 2021. Chop to third. Walls. Gets it to first. Oh. Lead off hitter gone in the third. Batting it. The shortstop. Ellie De La Cruz. And now Ellie De La Cruz. This has been a career year for him when it comes to driving in runs. Bounce to third. Tosses across the first. And a couple of quick outs. Batting nine, the center fielder. Two Stewart. outs, bases empty. Next Fairchild. for Cincinnati, Stuart Fairchild. So easy to look at the big boys in this lineup, but he has been a pleasant surprise all season long. Fastball for a strike. That's excellent location on the fastball right there early in this game. If he can do that all game, should be a good outing for him. Swing and a miss. Oh, and two. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters. Got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. And down on strikes he goes. And the Reds go one, two, three. Reds go down quietly. It's five, nothing. And we're back and as we go to the last of the third. And now Taylor Walls. And a pitch. Right through there for a strike. Well, I think this is an important inning on the mound for him in this game. He's got to find a way to settle things down and give some length in this start. Aye. Next offering is in for a strike. All right, now, he no may have not liked strikes. either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Leadoff he's man down. retired here in the third. Now battle. the second baseman. Ahmed Rosario next to hit for the Rays. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. That clips the corner. Pitch misses there, and the count is one and one. Side corner, there's a strike. One ball, two strike. A little bit high, two. maybe. It's two and two. Two balls. One two out, strike. base is empty. High in the air, out to right. Benson moving under it, hauls it in for the out. And there's two away. Now batting, the designated hitter. Brandon Lau next to hit for the Rays. He was a strikeout victim his first time. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. Oh, two is the count. Two out spaces empty.
Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss, struck him out. And that's strikeout number 100 on the year. Down in order, go the Rays, as they are unable to add to their 5 0 lead. Start of the fourth, and here is TJ Friedel. Number 29, TJ Friedel. The wind and the pitch. Right through there for a strike. Oh, he's looking great so far. It helps when over 80% of your first pitches are strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. That one lifted to left. A Rosarena moving under it. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one down. Up next in Cincinnati. Will Benson right digs in now. Will Rounded out his first Benson. time up. Fastball for a strike. 0-1. Swing and a miss. Oh, and he lost the handle on that one. Well, we talk about throwing the hands, but not the bat, man. You want to hold on to that thing, and you can see his teammates over there. If he doesn't come through with the knock, he's going to get some business when he goes back to the dugout. Bounce to the left side. Sends it to first, and he's out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Two outs, base is empty. Spencer Steer, the next to hit for the Reds. That's through there for a strike. The Reds hitless so far in the game. Strike two. More and more guys are looking to slug regardless of the count. In this situation, we'll keep a close eye on his approach. Two outs. Out towards right center field. Long run into the gap. But it's the center fielder who gets there. And that'll do it. Back now in Tampa Bay. And the batter will be the shortstop. Jose Caballero. The wind of the pitch. Right through there for a strike. Activity in the oh, bullpen for the Reds. Graham Ashcraft up and throwing. Montas getting loose as well. Fought off foul. Wouldn't well. chase that time. That's a One really ball, good job now. of laying off the 0-2 high fastball. Is going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's behind in the count. Two, two, and that now. one almost hit him. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. And that one hops the wall. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. In safely. It's a double and his second hit. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. Now the Reds manager is out of the dugout and will make a move to the pen. Brandon Williamson is done. And he's responsible for the runner on second. So the book isn't closed on him yet. We'll be right back. Graham Ashcraft gets the ball now. He's pitching on two days rest. Ashcraft. So a man aboard. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Jose Siri. There's the strike. Man at second. Swing and a miss. And the count is 0-2. 0-2 is the count. One ball. 
This Good one track. in the dirt. Well done behind the dish. Righty delivers. That misses the zone. And the count is two and two. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. And here it comes. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. Gets him. One away on a drop third strike. And the runner stays up where he is. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count up at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Ben Wurtvet next to hit for the Rays. Doubled in his first A.B. And a foul ball. And a pitch. He swings and fouls one off. Runner at second here, one gone. And oh, now boy. one and two. And that one hit 97 on the gun. Struck him out looking. The right fielder. So the 21. batting order turns over. Johnny. And now the right fielder, Johnny yes, DeLuca. Luca. Singled and scored back in the first. He's one for two. And that one fouled off. Runner at second, two down. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Next offering is in for a strike. In the air out to center, Fairchild settles underneath it, makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. The Rays strand just the one, but they hold a 5-0 lead. Back here at Tropicana Field, new inning getting started. Here's the second baseman, Matt McClain. McClain. The pitch. Swing and a miss, strike one. Well, these Reds oh, just one. aren't putting together very many good at-bats in this one. We're in the back half of the game, and they're still searching for a base runner. He's been great out there on the mound, no doubt, but it's also been a disappointing performance at the plate to this point. Ground ball up the middle. Into the outfield, base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. I'd say a mistake pitch in an 0-2 count. Wow, Too good of a pitch to hit base. right there. You have to Chamber expand the zone. The keep line. that leadoff man off first base. And now it's switch hitting third baseman, Jamer Candelario. Hey. Right through there for a strike. And as we get deeper, it's not going to get any easier. These at-bats are going to feel more and more desperate with every out the rest of the way. Good eye right there. On a line, base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Couple of singles back to back. You'll often hear the phrase short to it, long through it. And that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early. Line drive, base hit. Around third. The relay, the tag, and he's safe. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Here. 
In now for the Reds, Christian Encarnacion Strand. 0 for 1 so far. That's a slider for a strike. And it's fouled away. First and second, no outs. And we're at the top of the fifth. Going to count one and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One gone here. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Goes to second for one. Up next in Cincinnati. The center fielder. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati. Stuart Fairchild. Fastball in for a strike. It's 0 1. Right through there for a strike. And a bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. Walls oh. throws to first. They limit the damage here, but they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now a 5 1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. And welcome back Leading to the ballpark. The we head to the bottom of the fifth. The and stepping in for the Rays, Randy or Rosarena. Ashcraft back to work. Ball one. That misses the zone. Ball, Ball one. one. No strike. Well, these Rays, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. They have five extra base hits on the stat sheet so far, and that tells me they're seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well. towards left center field. That's well struck. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Two hits for him in this one. Both for extra bases. Got to feel good about that. He somehow got to that outside pitch and pulled it hard into the outfield. Not exactly what you're supposed to do with that kind of location, but you wouldn't know it by how the ball came off his back. And now the first baseman, Yandy Diaz. One for two with an RBI double back in the first. Oh, that and that's outside, and it's 1-0. Oh. With all those extra base hits, it's easy to think we're going to see that trend continue the rest of the game. They seem to be really locked in at the plate. Kicks and deals. In for a strike, and a count 1-1. One and one. In the air to left center. Fairchild on his way over. He's got it. Runner tags at second, and he's in safely at third with one out. The batter, the third baseman, Taylor. Wall. Next to bat will be the Rays four hitter, Taylor Walls. That's in for a strike. A Rosarena stands at third with one gone of the inning. One ball. And that one goes straight to the backstop. Out at the play. Two down, nobody on. And there's a rocket into the outfield. The batter, number 10, second baseman, Ahmed. Ahmed Rosario, Rosario, next to hit for the Rays. One for two. This one in the air, center field. Makes the play, and it's out number three. 
one left for Tampa. They leave this one though 5 1. And we're back. Leading off, Leading off TJ Friedel. The left fielder, number 29. TJ. And a pitch. Friedel. And a bunt yeah. towards third. When a guy's throwing a lot of first pitch strikes as a hitter, you got to be ready to hit. Now, that's not going to help you get deep into his pitch count and into the bullpen, but you got to take what he's offering that day. Walls makes the grab one down. That was a good hard fastball with some now nice back. ride up the in right the zone right there. Hitter Real. looked like he was on Real. it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop up and an easy out for the defense. Hey. Benson in the box again, oh, one, takes the a strike. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent hey. slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Slider got him for a strike three. Chris, third time okay. through the order and a couple of quick outs the for the starter. Hitter. Yeah, he's been very Thank frugal her. today. Steer. Economical with the pitch count. There's a strike. at center field and that keeps the inning alive everything came together perfectly for him right there just a very nice approach and swing right there to use the big part of the field everything was on time he stayed balanced through the entire swing and just launched that one into center on the ground the first dives and he can't hang on now he gets it to the pitcher covering the bag he keeps his composure and they get the out one hit one left Rays five and the Reds and one. Up for the Reds. The designated hitter. Brandon. Well, we go bottom six. Now, Brandon Lau. The pitch. Oh, he doesn't get the call. And that is ball one. Really close pitch down around the knees there, and you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. Kicks and fires. In the air, left side. Friedel sizes this one up. And there's one away. Now batting. Shortstop. Jose, Jose Caballero. Next to hit for the Rays. And that's in for a strike. Caballero goes five feet, nine inches, 27 years old, and he was born in Panama. Right-handed reliever. That's out to center field. Fairchild moving under this one. And it's caught for the out. So digging in, Jose Siri. The center fielder. Jose. And that's in for a strike. Now this guy is just filling oh, up the one. strike zone right now. Don't want to get yourself in an 0-2 hole. You better be ready to pull the trigger on the first pitch. Two outs. That one fouled off. Swung on, belted. That one's deep. It has the distance gone. A massive home run. Home run number 30 on the year. And they boost their lead. It's 6-1. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. 
Uh, here's the catcher, Ben Wortvet. Swing and a base hit. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. No, Tried no. to get inside on oh, him, but he was ready for it. Just no, kept his hands in and yeah, turned on the God. pitch. Quick bat through the zone. Now up for Tampa Bay, Johnny DeLuca. And That's the first ball. pitch misses for ball one. Rortvet off of first with two away. And that one pulled foul. And he deals. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Fairchild has a beat on it. Corrals it. And that is that. Now the Rays get one on a solo shot. And this is now a 6-1 ball game. You're watching Tampa Bay Rays baseball on the show, Florida. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Jason Adam. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. In now for the Reds, Jamer Candelario. Here comes the pitch. That clips the zone. That's strike one. Now this is in the air down the line. A Rosarena after it. And there's one down. Tyler Stevenson, the next to hit for the Reds. Picked up an RBI in his last at bat. Still their only run of the game so far. Swings through that one. Base is empty, one away. Here at the top half of inning number seven. Foul ball still, 0 and 2. One down, base is empty. On the ground to third. Over to Diaz. That's the second out. The first baseman, number 33, Christian Encarnacion Strand. Christian Encarnacion Strand, the next to hit for the Reds. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss. Slider right there. Well, as good as things can be, it can be a tough day at the office, even for the skippers. Seeing the oh, offense that. just sputter, not able to get anything going. Two down, nobody on. You're in game one of this three game set. And he hits a ground ball right side. And that's oh. the third out. Reds down in order. They trail it 6 1. Set for the last half of the seventh. And stepping in for the Rays, Randy or Rosarena. Ashcraft back to work. Lifted in the air, right field. Benson sizing this one up, and there's one down. The first baseman, number two, Yandi. And here's the first Diaz. baseman, Yandi Diaz. One for three. That's in there. The Cincinnati bullpen has some movement. Emilio Pagan appears to be getting loose. Sims getting cranked up as well. One and ball, ball one. one. Righty to the plate. 
Chop back up the middle. McLean to first. That's it out. The third baseman, number six, Taylor. Wall. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the third baseman, Taylor Walls. Strike on the inside corner. And that's off the inside edge. And one and one. In the air of the infield, in position, nabs it. That is the inning. Rays held in check here. They still lead it, though, 6 1. Back here at Tropicana Field, ready to begin the eighth. Here's the shortstop at the play. Ellie De La Cruz. That catches the zone for a strike. Going one. Inside oh, just missed. And the right hander deals. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And the pitch gets a piece and stays alive. Three. Swings and misses. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. Stewart Fairchild, the next to hit for the Reds. Stewart Fairchild. Just missed. One down, base is empty. And now the count, one and two after the swing and the miss. One ball. Oh, that's that slur right, right there. He threw it extremely well. I talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. And it bangs off the foul pole. Home run. He sends it out of here. It's his eighth home run of the year. And they close the gap. It's 6-2. Well, he really crushed that thing down the line, and everyone had to hold their breath until it clanked off the pole. And every time that happens, it just kind of feels like a trick shot or something. But really, it's just a stroke of luck that it stays fair long enough. Friedel stands in here, takes ball one low. Foul ball. The one two Three. foul tip into the mix struck him out. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had a fool. Two outs base is empty next to hit Will Benson just Whoa, missed. Swing at a high fly ball left field. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Reds claw back with this homer. Now a 6-2 ball game. This is Rays baseball on the show, Florida. Back now, now new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom 15, of the eighth, Emilio Pagan. Emilio. He's certainly been one of their better relief pitchers this season. The numbers are really solid, so they feel great about handing the ball over to him. So digging in, Ahmed Rosario. The pitch. And that one upstairs. Counts 1-0.
The pitch. Breaking ball through there for a strike. That split is a pretty nasty pitch. Explodes out of the hand. Looks like a fastball, and the bottom just falls out of it. And oh, another ball. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Tosses to first. One up, one down. The batter, number eight. And now it's going to be Brandon Lau. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a flyout. There's a strike. Activity in the bullpen for the Reds. Ian Jabot loosening up for manager David Bell. Next offering in there for a strike. That's strike two. 0 2 Cal, both pitches on the inside part of the plate. Hitter is thinking, I don't want to get beat here. This is a good time That's for something ball. off speed away. Swings and misses, struck him out. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance no you want to flush. Seven. He just hasn't Short looked very stop. comfortable up there. Okay. Just one of those days. But Come when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. High fly ball out to left field. Friedel under this one. Makes the catch inning over. All set to start the ninth in this one. The designated hitter, Spencer. And now the designated hitter for the Reds, Spencer Steer. And he pumps in a strike. That clips the inside corner for a strike. And the righty deals. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. The pitch. Left field. A Rosarena on the move. Puts it away for the out. One down. He's two outs away. Digging in, Matt McClain. McClain. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. Well, he threw oh that one. fastball right by him. Gives him a little bit of confidence, but in the back of your mind, you got to think, is he trying to set me up for later in this at bat? Swings and misses. And they're down to their last out. Well, that at bat seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something off, extend that at bat. So it's their last chance in this one. Next for Cincinnati. Jamer. There's a swing and a drive. And that gets down into the gap. Now he'll turn for second. And he's in with a stand-up double. A little more backspin on that instead of the top spin. And he's jogging around the bases rather than pulling up at second. And now the catcher comes up to him. Tyler Stevenson. There's a strike. Man on second, two down. And that drops in for a strike. This could end it. Hit to the left side, and this is going to do it. Throw to first, ball game. And the Rays take the series opener here at home. Well, I'm not sure if he expected to get nine outs in this one, but he had the gas in the tank to get it done. Kind of a throwback save for this guy today, but helps the team get the win. As you can see, they're pretty happy about it, and they're celebrating his performance in this one. And your final, 6-2. to two. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.
the final line score for our ball game tonight.